Prince William was begged to acknowledge Charles' role in upbringing, he flatly refused. Prince William was begged by royal aides to acknowledge his father Prince Charles' efforts in a particular royal documentary, but he flatly refused, according to reports. William's relationship with Charles is thought to have improved in recent months in Prince Harry's absence, as the remaining royals have closed rank. However, it used to be Harry who made more effort with his father and the Duke of Cambridge who was more estranged from the Prince of Wales. William had been Princess Diana's confidant as her eldest child, and so had a deep understanding of his parents' marital collapse. As royal commentator Camilla Tomini noted, when the 20th anniversary of the death of Diana, Princess of Wales, came round in 2017, Aides begged William to acknowledge his father's role in their upbringing when he addressed journalists before the screening of an ITV documentary but he flatly refused. Ms. Tomini is referring to the ITV documentary, Diana, Our Mother, Her Life and Legacy, where neither Harry nor William mentioned their father. She continued, Charles' only mention came in another documentary for the BBC that year, when it was left to Harry to pay tribute. Indeed, during Diana, seven days. Harry praised his father for his emotional support during the turbulent period following Diana's death. He said, one of the hardest things for a parent to have to do is to tell your children that your other parent has died. He was there for us. He was the one out of two left and he tried to do his best and to make sure we were protected and looked after. Harry reportedly became closer to his father after Meghan encouraged him to remain close to the one parent you have left and their bond was undoubtedly strengthened when Harry asked Charles to walk his wife down the aisle for the 2018 wedding. However, during the 2017 documentary Diana, Seven Days, William talked about his own internal reaction to his mother's sudden death, rather than Charles. William admitted that he asked himself, why me, what have I done? While he stayed away from the subject of his father, he did praise his grandmother the Queen for keeping Diana's two sons in Balmoral away from the furore unfolding in London, in the immediate aftermath of the Princess of Wales' sudden death. He said, our grandmother wanted to protect us. He added that she wanted to make sure he and Harry had the privacy to mourn and to collect our thoughts. While Megxit may have reversed this dynamic, Charles' relationship with his sons has come back into the spotlight as Meghan prepares to release her literary debut. The Bench. This children's book documents the relationship between father and son from the mother's eyes, and was inspired by Harry and his two-year-old child, Archie. It's unclear if this will be interpreted as a peace offering between Harry and his father, or a reminder of what their relationship had been. The Duke of Sussex was highly critical of Charles in his bombshell interview with Oprah Winfrey back in March. He said the Prince of Wales stopped taking my calls once Harry took his royal exit into his own hands, and claimed Charles was trapped in the system of the monarchy as the heir apparent. Yet, Charles' relationship with William finally seemed to be on the mend when the royal family posted an affectionate image of the Duke of Cambridge with his arm around his father for last year's Father's Day, writing in the Telegraph. Ms. Tomini claimed, now a father of three in his late thirties, with Charles willingly playing the role of doting grandfather, there is a sense that William has not only forgiven him for the mistakes of the past, but also woken up to the fact his father has been as much of a positive influence as Diana, the late Princess of Wales. An insider told Vanity Fair's Katie Nichol that the two heirs are also united in their destinies as monarch and that is something that connects them and has brought them closer in recent years. Some critics have even suggested that as Charles includes William in more decision-making as the second in line to the throne, Harry started to feel pushed out, adding to his increasingly tense relationship with his father.